Hey Canada language learners, today I'm going to teach you a way to sound more polite and as a result sound more like a Canadian. So let me tell you a story. The other day I was at the grocery store and I was going to buy some meat at the meat counter but beside me there was another woman ordering something and she asked the question to the employee, what marinade is this? And it sounds like a perfectly normal question that you ask at the grocery store but for me, it was a little bit too direct, almost rude, because in Canada, even with people who work at the grocery store or any stranger, it's important to be polite, okay? So she should have said, could you tell me what marinade this is? And you remember from a couple weeks ago, we talked about embedded questions, but let's go into a little bit more detail. So imagine you're at the grocery store and you're looking for the milk. So you're thinking in your head, where's the milk? But when you see an employee and you ask him, you don't say, where's the milk? That's too direct. You say, excuse me, could you tell me where the milk is? So we notice that the word is has changed positions. Another example, you're at the bus stop. You don't know when the next bus comes, but there's a person there. So you're thinking, when does the next bus come? But you can't ask a stranger that question. It's too direct. So you say, excuse me, do you know when the next bus comes? So notice in that one, we lost the word does and we added an S to the verb come. Okay, so how do we know what to say exactly after do you know or could you tell me? So here's an easy way to figure that out. So think about the basic question. Where is the milk? What's the answer to that question? The milk is over there. But just take the part at the beginning. The milk is and attach that to your other pieces. The question word where and the do you know or the could you tell me. Could you tell me where the milk is? Okay. The other question, when does the next bus come? What's the answer? The next bus comes at some time. So take that part. The next bus comes. Attach it to when and attach it to do you know. Do you know when the next bus comes? Okay, so now I wanna give you an opportunity to practice. So you're gonna see when the screen turns orange, you're gonna see a regular question, a direct question. So your job is to change it into a more polite question. If you want, you can pause the video at this time to give yourself a little more time. Okay, so here's the first one. How much does this cost? A more polite way to say that would be, could you tell me how much this costs? Where's the nearest subway station? A better way to say that is, do you know where the nearest subway station is? What time does it start? A more polite version, could you tell me what time it starts? So that's an easy way for you to sound more polite in your daily life and as a result sound more like a Canadian. So in the comments, what I want you to do is consider one of these three places, a grocery store, a hospital, or a train station. Think of a question that you might ask an employee in one of those places and put it in the comments in the style of an embedded question. And remember, if you're not on the email list, consider signing up. And if you're interested in working with me, check out canlanguagelearn.ca.